So in this video I'll be saving to a CSV file, comma separated value. I'll be using system.io like I did last time. The reason why I'm doing this is because the next exercise will heavily rely on different types of saving. So I kind of want to cover some more ways of how you can save before I start the exercise. So I'll start by making a static void and then I'll call it new record. This is where we'll add new record to our program. We'll store our integer for ID, string for the username. I guess we can store the age. And then we'll of course store the file path. Now I'm just gonna call this straight away. So what we'll have is here int Let's just put zero because it's a first ID. Use wait, actually zero. We'll have funny user one two three, age twenty two, and then file path is going to be user data dot csv. This could be any type, but I want to open it in Excel or a similar program, so I'm going to keep the um, keep it this way. Now, the, if we carry on. So what we'll do is we'll do our try catch blocks in case we get an error and there we go and now if we go to the code We will use using and we'll do the exact same thing as we did before. So we will be using a stream writer. And we'll do file and we're gonna make it equal to new stream writer. And here we will do things slightly differently. So we'll pass our file path and encoding will set to true. But what we'll also do is we'll put the at sign where it there is. Now we'll do file dot write line and we will write our ID and then what we'll do is we'll put this which is the um, basically the comma. The reason why we have to do this is because we are saving it to CSV which is a copper separated value. So everything that has a comma will be separated. So if we put plus and then what else do we have username? plus comma plus h and that's good enough so if we now press f5 to run the program and we close the program and now if we click here right click on the um, solution and we will have open we go into the bin the debug and here we have a file as you can see we can open it in excel so if I double click on it, there you go. So we have our ID, we have our username, and we have the number. So ideally what we would usually do is, let's just delete that file actually. So we would do, so we would encode have like a check if file exists, if not, generate the fields. So we would do, our new record for the fields, but we would pass. Well, actually, could you change that to a string? Change that to a string, and we'll put ID, age, and then name. Yep, sounds about right. So that would be our first record to have the data layout and then let's just say we would then later make user accounts that would be something along the lines of zero one two three four gonna have Jeff
Okay. There you go. So if we just press play. Back. Go here. And we open it. And there you go. It actually looks like a proper datasheet by using Excel. So yeah, that's it for this video.